loving nerd here. Um, today I will be uh, looking at Ubuntu Studio um, 1810. So um, this is actually the first time I've used any edition of Ubuntu Studio. This and Ubuntu Kylin are the only Ubuntu distros I haven't used. Um, yes, I'm saying Ubuntu, right? It's a miracle. <laughs> but uh, we're just uh, going to review it. Now, this is just Zub Zubuntu <laughs> with um, a bunch of video production, graphic design, and audio production software. So, um, we have, uh, for audio, we have Kid 3, um, a bunch of effects, a bunch of MIDI utilities, mixers, and stuff. And then we also have, um, Audacity, Ardor, LMMS, um, Hydrogen, Bizarro, pre-installed, MuseScore, a bunch of stuff. For graphic design, we have a bunch of graphic utilities. Um, a bunch of photography utilities. We have Blender, um, Font Forge, GAMP, GPIC, Inkscape, Krita. We have them all. Scribus, Synthfake. Um, and then for video production, we have Blender, Caden Live, OpenSUSE, Pitivi, Pitivi, I don't know how to say it. Subtitle Editor, Vocal Screen comes pre installed, XF Burn, and yeah. So comes with tons and tons of different stuff. It even comes with a couple games, Mines and Sudoku, although I installed Steam myself. Um, and then... Sorry about that. And we also have Firefox, Internet DJ, media playback stuff, Office stuff. Yeah, it has everything. It also has um, Ubuntu Studio controls, so you can do performance or power save. And then... Intel Boost. Not sure what that does, but... And then we have audio settings, so... And then we also have Ubuntu Studio Meta Installer. So you can install different stuff. Now, the Ubuntu Studio Meta Installer... This is the thing that distinguishes it from other distros. As a matter of fact, I honestly don't think this should be a distro. I think XFCE wasn't a very good choice, um... I think Monte would be better, but also some people might want this on a KDE environment. So I feel like Canonical, instead of making this distro, they should have gotten, they should have just made this and made it so you can install everything on the other distros with this. That's what I think they should have done with this. Um, so yeah. Anyways, should you use this? Maybe. If you like, if you're into audio production, video production, or graphic design, if, like, those are your jobs or something, this might be a good distro. However, I think Mate should have been a better choice, and this is just Ubuntu with all this extra stuff. And let's say you only do graphic design. It'd be kind of bloating, bloated to have the audio production and video stu production stuff, too. I will admit, though, it does ask you what you want in the installer. So if you, I installed everything just for the sake of this review, but if you want to, you can make it so you only get the graphic design stuff, which is a nice feature. Um, I think Ubuntu Studio is the best for audio production. Like, even the wallpapers have it, and there's advanced audio settings and stuff. But it's also good for video production and graphic design. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is just if you install everything. This is what it would look like. So, yeah, that's my review on Ubuntu Studio. Um, I mean, it's not my type of distro. I think they should have just made the installer, and you can install it on top of Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Ubuntu Mate, Kubuntu, um, Zubuntu, any of them. Any of them you want. I think they should have just made this, and then not a whole distro. But, so that's my opinion on Ubuntu Studio, and uh, see in, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.